Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to find conditional probabilities using the M estimate approach and use the conditional probabilities to classify the example into one of the classes. In this case, we have been given a data set with the three attributes A, B, and C. Class is the target variable over here. First, we need to calculate the conditional probabilities and then we can classify the new example into one of the classes using these conditional probabilities. Later, I will discuss uh, how to use M estimate approach to find the conditional probabilities and classify this example into one of the classes. First, we will start with uh, finding the conditional probabilities using the normal approach. First, conditional probability is uh, probability of A is equal to 1 given negative example. Because uh, given is negative, we need to consider only negative examples here. We have 5 negative examples in this case. Out of 5 negative examples, we need to consider only examples where A is equal to 1. If you look at here, there are only 2 examples where A is equal to 1. So, the probability of A is equal to 1 given negative is 2 by 5 over here. The second conditional probability is the probability of A is equal to 1 given positive. So, how many positive examples are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Out of 5, how many uh, examples where A is equal to 1? So, this is the first one, second one, third one. So, that is the reason we have written 3 by 5 over here. Similarly, we can calculate the probability of A is equal to 1 given negative. Again, uh, negative examples. Out of negative examples, how many of them are 1 in this case? Again, we have uh, 2 examples here. So, that is the reason I have written 2 by 5. Probability of B is equal to 1 given positive. Out of positive examples, how many 1 examples are there? If you look at here, this is the first one. And then uh, we don't have anything here. So, that is the reason it is 1 by 5. Similarly, you can calculate probability of C is equal to 1 given negative example. C is equal to 1 given positive examples. The other possibilities are uh, like probability of A is equal to 0 given negative, 0 given positive and so on. So, I have already calculated it. You just go through this particular uh, calculation, you will understand how to calculate these conditional probabilities. Now, we will use these conditional probabilities to classify the new example into one of the classes. This is the new example given to us, where A is equal to 0, B is equal to 1 and C is equal to 0. If you want to classify this example into one of the classes, uh, we have to use uh, uh, new base classifier here. This is the formula for new base classifier. That is uh, probability of CI. CI is one of the class over here. In this case, we have uh, plus and minus. So, CI will become first time plus, second time it will be minus in this case. These are the conditions given to us. This, this is where uh, we need to use these things. And it is equivalent to probability of uh, given conditions given the class, probability of a class divided by probability of uh, given conditions or you can say that the evidence is over here. Now, we will use this equation uh, to solve this particular uh, example. That is the probability of plus because uh, CI will become uh, plus in the first iteration. These are the evidences given to us. So, on the right hand side, it will become something like this. Probability of X1, X2, Xn given CI is there. If you use the product formula, it will become something like this. Probability of A is equal to 0 that is given to us here. Given positive. Probability of B is equal to 1 given positive. Probability of C is equal to 0 given positive. So, all these things are given and uh, the class we are considering is positive here and last one this one that is probability of plus here divided by probability of x1, x2 the same thing I have written it here. And this uh, denominator is common for uh, both the cases that is uh, ci may be plus or minus. So, we will take this one as a k here and then remaining all values we will put that is probability of a is equal to 0 given positive that you can see here that is 0.4. Similarly, I, I have put all the values and once you do the calculation, you will get 0 0.024 here. Similarly, we need to do the other calculation that is uh, probability of uh, minus that is the second class is minus here given these evidences. So, wherever there is plus is there, we need to write minus in this case. That is it. And then uh, we need to uh, solve this particular equation. So, once you solve this particular equation, you will get a 0 here because uh, uh, probability of uh, you can see here c is equal to 0 given negative the value is equal to 0 if you multiply that value it will become 0 here or if you put all the values you will get 0 by k k is common in both the cases here and if you compare these two values this value is more than this one so you can say that the new example should be classified as positive over here so this is the simplest process you can follow 
to calculate the condition probabilities and then classify the example. But in this case, we have uh, uh, come across one situation that is uh, one of the conditional probability is zero. Because of this particular thing, the entire posterior probability has become zero here. So this is what is called as a zero probability issue in uh, Navis classifier. To avoid this particular thing, we need to use something called as M estimate approach here. In M estimate approach, uh, we use this uh, formula that is the probability of uh, A given B is always equal to NC plus MP divided by N plus MO here. So P and M are already given to us. So these values are already available. There is no problem with this one. And uh, this NC, NC is nothing but the number of times both these conditions are happening that is A and B. And N is the number of times B has happened, only the second condition has happened. So that is what the N value over here. Now we use this particular thing and then we will try to calculate the conditional probabilities. So the first conditional probability is the probability of A is equal to 0 given positive. So A is equal to 0 and positive examples. How many number of times it is present? A is equal to 0 and positive examples. A is equal to 0 and positive examples it is present two times here. And uh, m into p m is uh, 4 p is equal to 1 by 2 it will become 2 in all the cases it will be same this m is uh, 4 over here and this one that is n n is nothing but how many number of times second one is occurring second one is what positive here so how many positive examples are there 5 so it will be 5 over here if you solve it it will become 4 by 9 i will show one more that is probability of a is equal to 0 given negative so these two values will remain same there is no issue over here and how many negative examples are there 5 so that is over here this NC, NC is nothing but both are occurring. A should be 0 and it should be negative example. So this is the first one, this is second one and this is the third one over here. So it will be 3 plus 2 divided by 5 plus 4, it will become uh, 5 by 9 here. Similarly, we need to calculate all other uh, conditional probabilities here. So once you calculate all these conditional probabilities, again we will use the same equation, whatever we have used in the previous case. And then we will put these conditional probabilities now we will get this value as the posterior probability for a positive and this one for posterior probability for negative in this case. Now you can see here this one is not zero because whatever the conditional probabilities we have calculated we don't have zero in this particular case. So we have avoided the zero probability issue with respect to a Navis classifier using M estimate approach over here. Again we need to do the comparison here between these two again this one is more so that's the reason the new example is classified as again positive in this particular case. But the end of the day what we did is uh, we have uh, removed that particular zero probability issue in this particular case. So in this uh, video I have discussed how to calculate the conditional probabilities with and without M estimate approach and how to address uh, uh, the zero probability issue in new base classifier. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos, press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.